something. Alright, so I'm just kind of hanging out. I've got this here. What's caught in a cord? This is a Dean. Uh, <coughs> which I'm into guitars. Oh, I've got this for me with a little practice amp at a garage sale for like 40 bucks. And I painted the pick guard kind of an antique white. The guy had uh, somebody who, I don't know if it's a guy or a kid or whatever, but uh, the pick guard was painted that like texture paint, like a gray or something texture paint. So I took it apart, sanded it down. Uh, I've had it for almost two years. Probably about two years. I don't play it very often. The neck has this kind of a twist to it. Where it starts out, you know, it's kind of a radius neck anyway, but it has a kind of a twist to it. <coughs> <coughs> and when I took it in to uh, have it strung after I got it all put to get put back together and stuff, uh, the guy's like, well, we can't get that twist out of the neck. It's just going to have to stay like that. But it's not really gotten any worse or any better for that matter. So it's just kind of... It doesn't sound too bad. It's got... But if you hit the pick guard, you know, it's got the old original stock pickups in it, and I have no idea if there's any age to it or, or whatever. Uh, it may be even be one of the Playmate models, I don't know, but... I gotta say, there's no fret buzz on the guitar whatsoever. Uh, if you, anyone plays electric guitar, but the action's a little high. guitar a little bit better but you get into some of the action the problem with the action on it and uh, where the action's too high but it still it doesn't play too bad
string bands good. Mm -hmm. Back on the uh, clean sound. Ooh, that was rough. proud of it. It, it because my wife got it for me and granted the twisted neck and everything it is what it is you know and I don't you know this is not a guitar review video or anything like that by the way I'm playing through a Fender uh, Champion 100 uh, I got it this past winter uh, 2014 my wife got that for me too, and that is a tremendous amp for 300 bucks. Uh, you know, if you're on a budget and you're looking for uh, a, a nice 212 amp, 212 combo, solid state, and if you can't afford a, a tube, you know, one of the boutique amps or or a tube amp or whatever, or if you can't afford a twin reverb, that's the amp for you, because uh, I mean it's just. Uh, it's got all the sounds. It's got amp modulation. It replaced the Frontman 212 and it replaced the Stage uh, 100 Water, I think. So the co combination of both amps into one, uh, only with amp modeling and uh, just great, great uh, effects. And great great guitarist I'm kind of a hacker um, you know I love all the greats that everyone loves uh, Clapton and Steve Ray Vaughan and uh, even Satriani and stuff but I don't play near at that level uh, my wife says I don't give myself enough credit but uh, you know I was a pianist for a lot of years played keyboards and then uh, you know the songwriting is when I got into playing guitar because I wanted to uh, you know, play different rhythms and stuff, and, uh, you know, it was easier for me to play the guitar and sing than it was to play the piano and sing, so I just sort of picked up the guitar. And... bridge middle pickup. And I don't play it enough and that's why it doesn't stay in tune like it should. If I played it more, I would get used to the twisted neck. It would just become second nature for me to pick it up and play it. But uh... <coughs> Anyway, that's a completely different video there but I just wanted to show that to you it's got, I got kind of it was in the closet for a while and I kind of got it out of the closet and I just I thought you know what I'm gonna plug it in and see how it sounds I don't get a chance to play it that often and um, so you know it kind of is what it is but uh, I, 
I just love that little guitar, you know, for 40 bucks. I mean, I'll buy them all day long for 40 bucks. And my favorite part about it is that the headstock is really kind of cool. Uh, where it's got the tuning pegs on both sides. It's uh, kind of shaped like a fender headstock, but it's smaller, but it's got the tuning pegs like a, I don't know, like a Paul Reed Smith would have or something, but it's not near the, the guitar, of course, that Paul Reed Smith's are, but. stay in tune like um, like it should but like I say if I played it more if I played it more then it probably would stay in a lot better so anyway uh, uh, hats off to Dean for making a cheap guitar that actually has pretty good tone I mean I, I probably if I got more serious about that particular guitar then I would probably uh, change the pickups and Try to put maybe a different neck on it, get a, a Warwick or something for it, but um, I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Anyways, just uh, I'm just hanging out. I'm waiting on the wife to get home and uh, do, some, do some grocery shopping here in about a half hour. And uh, um, aside from being bored, you know, I probably should be doing the dishes, but uh, you know, who wants to do that? So, anyways. Uh, more later. So anyway, yeah, that's my uh, video for today. I wasn't going to do any type of vlogging or anything. Because like I say, uh, I don't get a whole lot of views when I vlog. And it's just kind of probably boring to a lot of people. But uh, anyway, uh, got to get ready to uh, meet my wife at her office. And then we're going to go... Uh, She's going to go get her nails done again, refilled or whatever. And, um, but I just wanted to record a little, a little bit here and, uh, try to maybe redeem myself a little bit. I got to do these dishes. If you could see them, oh, you would be upset with me for not, uh, not doing anything worthwhile with my time, I guess. But, uh. Anyways, I really didn't have a lot going on today. Um, kind of, kind of a lazy day <coughs> because of the lack of sleep I got last night or whatever. But, um, gotta get in here and look for a little hat action. And, um, specific hat I'm looking for today to wear. I don't see it anywhere. It's hard telling. This this closet is jam full of, of hats and uh, it depends on what mood I'm in, what hat I wear. And I have this one that um, I kind of had in mind and I don't see it so that's too bad. This is pretty cool. I wrote, uh, it was a plain hat and I wrote the cardins on it for our uh, little band, see if it's got on the floor, our little music duo that Brandy and I do, and um, anyway, I'm not seeing it, so, uh, okay, that's about it for today, I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, and um, I will see you all probably Monday because uh, my wife's off all weekend. I'm not doing anything either, so as usual, uh, we're just going to hang out and enjoy each other's company, And uh, so I'm not going to probably post anything this weekend. So have a good weekend, y'all, and I'll probably see you Monday with some more nonsense. Peace out. Love y'all.